YouTube salute. Terrence Crawford wants to fight Errol Spence to show why he's the best at welterweight. I got this article from BoxingScene.com, which they actually got from TMZSports.com, but I will actually share it and put it in the description so you can take a look at it. WBO welterweight champion Terrence Crawford has a wish, and that wish is to face IBF welterweight champion Errol Spence in a unification to establish which of them, if the best fighter in the welterweight division. Spence just dispatched Mikey Garcia in the 12 round domination at the AT&T Stadium in Texas that made many believe Earl's the very best fighter in the world at 147 pounds. Crawford, who's gearing up to fight former world champion Amir Khan on April 20th at the Madison Square Garden in New York City says that ain't so and told there's only one way to prove he's actually the guy and that's going to make the fight with Errol Spence. There are many fans and observers that view Crawford and Spence as the biggest fight, one of the biggest fights in the sports. I want that fight. Let me just say right now, Crawford tells TMZ Sports, just to show the world that I'm the best welterweight in the division, both men want to lay claim to being the next big money fighter in boxing. Now, since Floyd Mayweather has retired, both men want... Um, some say Crawford is too small to handle Spence. Crawford wants those people to shut. He wants to shut the critics up, saying he's got everything he needs to be Spence. I feel confident matching up with anybody. I can box. I can bang. I can switch. I can punch. I'm not slow. Crawford said. First of all, Crawford is not too small. I hate people saying that. Crawford used to wrestle. He is very strong. You can tell by his body structure that he's made for welterweight. And he was actually draining himself years ago when he even started when he came in. To which you call it, to the what um to the to he entered his professional boxing career, he was draining himself because number one, Bo Mac, his trainer Brian McIntyre said when they um at the final press conference against Jeff Horn, we could have been fought at welterweight, but this is not a sprint, this is a marathon, so we taking our time. We're gradually bringing him in to make sure this is right for him, his body. So Crawford, this is his natural weight. He's 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 exactly where he needs to be at. Everybody keeps saying he's small. He is strong as hell. Crawford hits like a bull. Spence hits hard as hell. So I'm not taking nothing against Spence. I like Spence. I like Spence. Um, Crawford is fast as hell. He has power. He can box. He has a, ring, a high ring IQ that a lot of people don't understand. His defense is not superb like a Pernell Whitaker or a Mayweather, but he, his defense has gotten better throughout um, the last four to five years. And I think that's more because of um, better competition, as much, which I mean better competition, stepping up. When he was fighting Gamboa and those smaller guys, he took more chances because he just, you know, like I'm going to take more chances with this. But when you fight up and move up in weight, you're going to be very um, cognizant of, you know, of just going here and being reckless. So I think this is going to be a great fight. That's the only way you can find out who is the best welterweight out of all of them. You got to have one champion. You can't have four people in all in the division with belts. BS. One champion. We need to find out who's the best. Errol Spence is what, 25 and 0 with 20 knockouts? Okay. Crawford is what, 34 and 0 with 25 knockouts? He is 2 and 0 with two KOs at welterweight. So we got to find out. I want to know who's the best. I know you want to know who the best. I love Terrence Crawford. That's my favorite fighter. You know, I ain't no fan, but that's just my favorite fighter. You know, I like him. Errol Spence, he's a great fighter. Do I think Crawford can beat Spence? Yeah, I think he can beat Spence. That's my opinion. So what you going to do, shoot me for my opinion? No, you're not going to shoot me for my opinion. That's my opinion. If you think Errol Spence going to beat Terrence Crawford, okay. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to disrespect you because I don't talk like that. I will give you that respect. And when that fight does happen, or if it takes place, we're going to we'll be respectful to each other. Like, you know what? Let's, to me, it's about them making money at the end of the day. Let's let them dudes make money. Let them make money and let it be good for the sport. First of all, Terrence Crawford and buy, not buying me a car. Errol Spence not buying you a car or nothing for your mama house or your daddy or whatever or nothing for my parents, whatever. Errol, I mean, Terrence Crawford. So people get in their feelings like, I got to fight the next person. I got to disrespect. You don't got to disrespect nobody. That's that's because you're in, um, insecure with yourself. If you a righteous person, you'd be like, you know what, it's what it is what it is. You want to see the best man win. Whoever wins, I salute them anyway. It doesn't matter. I salute them anyway because somebody making money and they doing something positive. They're not in jail and they're not selling drugs. That's how I look at it. 
So that's what, I always want to see the best fight the best like they did in the old school ways and get the politics out the way. Come on, ESPN, top rank boxing, work with PBC, um, Fox, Showtime, Al Heyman, let's get this cracking. Post your comments below. Hoax Smash Black Panther the like button if you subscribe to my channel. If you want to donate to my channel, the information is below in the description. I have PayPal, Streamlabs, Venmo, and Cash App. Check out the playlist. Until next time, everybody, peace.